Hi, I'm Nancy Howell with Western Cuyahoga Audubon, and I'm also uh, an employee here at the Cleveland Museum of Natural History, and I have a, my pleasure of introducing Dr. Andy Jones, who is the curator and head of ornithology here at the, at the museum, and also the uh, director of science at the museum. So I'm going to let Andy talk a little bit about how we got involved with ornithology, birds, you know, interests at, how, at, at a young age. Okay, yeah, I started at a very young age. Uh, my first field notes were when I was five years old. Five, wow. I went out in the yard and counted uh, Fowler's toads in the front yard and wrote them down, and my dad was encouraging me to kind of keep track of In your of front what yard was, was where? In uh, Raleigh, North Carolina. North Carolina, yep. wow. Yep, wow. so I actually started with reptiles, amphibians, and that was really after getting out of dinosaurs. So I started with dinosaurs <laughs> at like age well, three or four, which a lot of kids around, do. Well, around because, you know, the dinosaurs are there's some right. right on the grass over well, there. And I took kind of a circuitous route. So I started with the dinosaurs and reptiles, amphibians, and then fish took over. Hmm. And wow. so by middle school, I had uh, 13 aquaria in my bedroom. <laughs> Uh, that was a second floor bedroom, so we were always afraid we'd come home and my bedroom would be on the first floor, but that never happened. Uh, but I was keeping uh, things that I would buy in a store as well as stuff from the nearby creeks, and I started wow. getting really interested in what's in the backyard. Yeah, yeah. Um, and then by high school, I had to do a wildflower project, which I was not excited about, and, and ended up really enjoying it and had to identify 25 species of wildflowers. While I was doing that... Nice. Um, a raptor flew over and I started yelling, hey, there's a bald eagle, there's a bald eagle. And my dad went along with me and said, yeah, it's a bald eagle. And my young cousin, who was maybe 10 at the time, said, no, that's an osprey. Oh, wow. I thought, I'm not really sure what an osprey is, but it had a white head. It had to be oh, a bald okay. eagle. Yeah. And so I looked it up later and actually it had a black line on oh. its white head and he was right. And uh, so that was the first bird I had really officially paid attention to. Uh, that was maybe my freshman year in high school. And I got really hooked from there, started birding the backyard and, and seeing what else was around, and, and it totally snowballed from there. Wow. Uh, natural history really grabbed me early, and in college I started taking classes in genetics, and I thought that was some very interesting stuff too, and, and it started, I started reading more about genetics and seeing that that could lead to telling you why one species would be split into two or why a genus name might change or a common name might change. And since I'd been keeping fish as a kid, I kept seeing fish names changing in magazines. Oh, yeah. And I was wondering why that was. Um, and then when I started getting into birds, that started, you know, I started seeing my field guides changing. So I, in my mind, I'm putting the genetics together with just the, the, the questions I had over or changing names. And that was where this current obsession wow. got going. Yeah, it and seems, has a, seems the way it, it's going with the, with the genetics and looking at uh, who's, who's related to whom. For sure, yeah. yeah. yeah.